All right, everyone, and welcome to today's video. We got something a little bit special here. The Street Fighter 6 sort of move guide, character guide for Ed, showcasing basically all of his new abilities in all the glory has just dropped today. So we're going to have a little bit of a look through this. Um, I did have a little bit of a sneak peek before recording this video, and I've got to say, he's looking absolutely phenomenal. Um, phenomenal. Crazy. Intricate, deep, dark. Ugh, I just... I can't wait for this character to be released. He is really looking like something uh, amazingly special. So without further ado, let's get into this and check out Ed's abilities. Now, one thing that I will say, I'm going to be pausing this throughout. So the term flicker, he had flicker abilities or flicker punches in Street Fighter V, which referred to kind of his triple one, two, three, one, two, three. In this game, he has three punches, which is obviously light, medium, and heavy, but his three kicks are what's known as flickers or flicks. What that means is it's kind of like an extended animation where he sort of flicks his wrist down, medium, and high, and it extends the range of his punches. So when it does refer to uh, flicker punches, it's not referring to the one, two, three, one, two, three that he used to do <laughs> back. Sorry for that poor impression. Back in Street Fighter Five, just making you all aware of that. As you can see, very, very nice sort of mid-range pokes there. And obviously, well, not obviously, but there are target combos which will um, blow off these. You can see a really good example here of the flicker attacks. You can also use Psycho Flicker, which is a special move version, which will enhance the moves further. A little bit like Aki or AKI or whatever you want to call her. She has enhanced art attacks where Psycho Power comes out of her nails. It's a similar thing with Ed. I think he's going to have two variations, which I believe may be, and this is just me spitballing here is going to be light and medium flicker held in, pressed together, or medium and heavy flicker punches pressed together. I think you're going to do two variations of like a psycho flicker. I think he is still going to have some more simplified inputs in this game, but I think they're going to be reduced down to maybe light, medium pressed together on the punches, uh, light medium on the kicks or flickers as they're now known and the same with medium heavy I think they're going to augment his basic things so my feeling on the matter is so far although I've yet to play test it is we're going to have flicker on light kick medium kick heavy kick there's also going to be an enhanced flicker with light and medium pressed together and medium and heavy pressed together and the same with his light, medium, and heavy punches. I think they're going to have a psycho upper, and maybe his overhead are going to be on those. I could be wrong. It feels like that's kind of the direction they're going in. All I can say is, apart from the aesthetics of the Karen haircut and the skinny face, it, it's looking really good. I'm going to crack on with this anyway, because it's quite a long... Uh, drawn out video he's got a lot of stuff in his kit a lot of stuff a lot of tools so psycho spark his fireball interesting thing they've really got all in on this he has a variety of fireballs now not just one for anyone that played street Fighter 5 and played ed like myself you'll know that he just kind of had one fireball if you watch this he actually has three different speeds so depending on the button strength that you do inherently use will change it so you can pretty much zone people a little bit now which is kind of crazy really happy about that one of the things that actually drew me to Ed originally and initially was not only the way he looked and I like the boxer archetype in Street Fighter like Balrog and stuff and um, 
Dudley, obviously. Um, he's psycho up, uh, he's simplified moveset, but I really like the fact that he had a fireball. It kind of made him a little bit unique, and they're kind of doubling down on that, and I really, really, really am interested. You know, he's going to be a very formidable fighter, but he's also not going to have the limitations of being bogged down by being a melee champ that doesn't have, you know, a fireball or a counter to fireballs. If Ryu, Ken, Akuma, other projectile characters do spam, he's going to have an answer to it. And I find that a very intriguing concept in itself. So we can do EX versions or overdrive versions, which cause double hit effect. You can also use them in combos. You could kind of use his original in combos. So you could do like hit, start of the fireball, don't confirm it. This is Psycho Upper. So what's interesting, while the medium and heavy versions move forward, the light version unleashes a, unleashes a mean uppercut in place. So his light does it on the spot. So it's kind of a vertical straight up sort of ordeal. Probably good for stopping jump ins. Um, combo ending if you're on top of them. The medium and heavy versions move forward first before unleashing the nasty. Hmm. So he seems to have like three variations on every single ability, which trying to get my head around how this is going to be implemented. It's, I, I have no idea how he's going to play. Like, but the depth of this character looks like they've absolutely gone to the sound on our head. So he's invincible against mid-air attacks. So nobody's going to be jumping in on head. I mean, that just looks like an absolutely amazing anti -air. Leaves him quite safe, doesn't put him in harm's way. Be interested to see what happens if he misses it, but for all intents and purposes, it looks like an amazing anti air. So it's also a juggle. If you hit him at the at the absolute peak of the apex, you also get a juggle off that. Nice. Nice to see that it's kind of a skill thing and he's not just gonna get a juggle up every single psycho upper, like in the last game. That kind of makes it more of a timed uh, skill expression, always nice to see. And again, that looked like he linked maybe a medium into a heavy psycho upper or a light into a medium. Nevertheless, it looks absolutely badass. Also has the ability to knock him back down. So it's showing there. Um, basically, pick your timing. If you whip it, you're going to be wide open to quite a lot. It looks like it's got really bad recovery on block. So... It's not going to be the type of ability that you just throw out for days. I mean, in lower leagues and lower brackets in ranks, they probably are just going to throw it out. Just like Edson in Street Fighter Five. It was a very formidable move, Psycho Upper. Uh, it did counter a lot of bullshit. Uh, it was... Uh, it could, some people could say it was slightly overpowered. I mean, it was good. There were a lot of follow-up shit off it, but... If they are making it so there's a lot of follow-ups and a lot of juggles, combos and stuff to come off it, I feel it's only fair that they give it a lot of recovery. Uh, so if it is blocked, you are going to pay the price. I think that's a fair trade, in my humble opinion. So, Psycho Blitz here. This is more akin to what his flicker was in Street Fighter V. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, this is a lot closer to that. It kind of looks like a special move. 
The interesting thing will be what happens if you do it on Wii. Um, do you just continue the animation? Is it going to have a bad recovery? Uh, I'm wondering about the spam ability of this um, flicker in this game because you could spam it a lot in the last game. With it now being a special move, maybe they've changed that a little bit. You can also see, yet again, three different types. Classic triple flurry, one, two, three, one, two, three. The medium and heavy versions knock down the opponent, giving you a chance to fold them like a bad poker hand. <laughs> Bore them like a cheap deck chair. That's that's what we say where I'm from. But there you go. Animations are very, very clean. So he's basically said there, which has answered my concerns about Flickr. What 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 I call Flickr from Street Fighter 5. Uh, it's now Flurry, uh, Psycho Flurry. It essentially said you're better off using it as a combo extender stroke ender because if you whiff it, you're going to be left open to a world of hurt. So it's nice to see they have thought about this and it's more of a flashy combo extender stroke finisher as opposed to something that you spam out. Very good. Looking at Ed's moveset, everything that they've shown so far in this video, I'm very happy with. There's clear explanations on the juggle factors, how his new flicker, one, two, three, one, two, three is going to work. You know, his fireball, everything else looks really good, really well thought out, well balanced. But then they're showing this psycho flicker. Now, for me, this is going to be the problem going to be a big problem with that i think this move looks overpowered too much range too much damage animations too quick recovery is too quick and this ability is possibly in my humble opinion what could push ed into s tier and make him one of the most hated characters in street fighter when you actually look at the speed and veracity of this ability, it's a bit, bit mental. Not to put too fine a point on it. Also, if you hold it, you now get the pull. The pull looks pretty balanced. Looks like he's got quite a big wind up. A good indication that he's doing it, it's the little flicks that he does. The quick sort of extended lows, mediums and highs. The ranged, for me, he's got a fireball. He's got a full screen charge punch, right? Why? Do, and he's got, he's already got like normal flickers that give him extended range on his jabs. Um, so why does he need the empowered versions? I don't know. I think the pull, the pull's fine, but it's the quick, the quick purple flicks that go full screen and low. That to me looks a bit strong. The charge versions are perfectly off bear with. Even the fact that you can combo off it's fine. Okay, so you can mix it up, so you can charge it, and then if you think you're going to go for it, you can either run forward. Oh, dear. Oh, my God, that's problematic. So, effectively, when Ed has his charged pull, or his charged flicker, as it's now known, and you try and counter it, this guy basically gets a free drive rush forward, 
uh, go slightly slower pace, but he's still free, so to speak, or a backdash shimmy. It's going to make every time Ed charges his ability, it's going to be a nightmare for players because you're in a guessing game. How strong this is going to be is yet to be seen, but I'm a little bit concerned about A, the, the length of the quick flick. So, boom, full screen, hits you in the, in the ankles, basically. Nearly said something I shouldn't do there. And then the charge version, which I said was balanced because of the charge in the animation. I'm now reverting that comment because of the dash forward, dash back sort of shimmy factor that they've incorporated. Although it's very inventive, and I think it's a great idea, how it's going to come across in the game is a big concern. So, he's got an EX version there of sort of the light or um, the focus meter version, whatever you want to call it. Now, this version is quick and stuff, but it's kind of good because you can't change stance, vent, like dash in, dash out and stuff like that. I think there needs to be sort of more, more risk reward added to his kit. Some of his kit feels a little bit free and a little bit oppressive without much drawbacks. I'm getting the vibes of Ken all over again. I really am here. And I hope not because I am a big Ed fanboy. But like I said, this is just a preview and these are just my thoughts. These aren't guaranteed. He, he, he may be really, really, really well balanced and well rounded. I wonder if this is just his dash. It looks like a great shimmy tool. See, I do like it does say that certain abilities make sure you use them as combo enders. You're going to have problems if you don't. I love the look of this move. So I think the way it's going to be is that he's level one. There's going to be ways of playing Ed around his level one where you're very heavily combo based. And you slip in and out of his, his level one to extend. Then there's going to be more strategic players that play off his level two, which is this, to do sort of a more bigger all in. And then obviously his level three is going to be absolutely juicy damage. But I feel that his level one is going to be so good, a little bit like Ryu, uh, it's going to be very, very very useful um luke as well like luke ryu their level ones have got a lot of utility i feel ed gonna be a similar idea well, this is obviously his level three very interesting So he's kind of invincible as well. So all in all, very, very happy with how this character's looking. And there you go. There's a little sneak peek and a preview into Ed. If you enjoyed today's content, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Ich würde es 